If there's anything you can't pronounce on your food label, then it shouldn't be going into your body. I'm sure a ton of you have already heard this phrase before, but are things really that simple? The truth is, nope. First of all, there are tons of natural ingredients that have scientific unpronounceable names like dehydrogen monoxide or hydric acid, they mean water, or sodium chloride, which is salt, and citric acid, which you can find naturally in certain fruits. But even the ingredients that aren't natural, that are added, so preservatives and additives, well, are they really that bad? Should they be like avoided at all costs? Here's the truth on additives and preservatives and how bad they actually are. So what are additives and preservatives? Additives are compounds used to enhance the flavor, change the color, or improve the texture and appearance of a food product. Preservatives are compounds that are used in order to prevent microbes from growing on food and to prevent the food from spoiling and to make it just last longer. So they are added to foods to give it certain beneficial properties like the one I just mentioned and they can also enhance the nutrient content in foods and make the transportation smoother. They all require it to be safe for consumption by the FDA and the quantities that are allowed to be put in foods are limited, of course, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be careful of the ones that you consume. Are preservatives and additives bad for you? As with most things in nutrition, the answer isn't black or white. Some additives and preservatives are very harmful and have been banned even, while some of them are completely safe. And among those who are authorized, some of them raise some controversy. So here are a few bad preservatives and additives that you should really avoid. The first one is monosodium glutamate or MSG, which is an additive that is used to enhance the flavor of certain savory dishes. It's often found in like ready-made meals or like frozen meals, canned meals, canned foods, and some, some snacks. And studies kind of differ regarding its risks. Some say that it can lead to being overweight while some don't. Some studies show that it has harmful neurological effects and some studies show that it doesn't even cross the blood-brain barrier. And other studies report MSG as a threat to public health. So I would still stay clear of MSG. Sodium nitrate is found in processed meats such as bacon or ham or salami or whatever and it can also be found in certain plants but it doesn't have the same effect at all. It can turn into some harmful compounds when it is in processed meats and big quantities of it should really be avoided. It's been linked to gastric cancer and other issues. BHA and BHT should also be avoided. They are petroleum derived antioxidants that are used to preserve fat. You can find them in things like potato chips and crackers and different snacks and cake mixes and processed meats as well. And animal studies show that they are carcinogenic, so that means that they promote the growth of tumors and cancer. Higher fructose corn syrup is another one to avoid. It is an artificial sugar that you can find in tons of processed foods and snacks and sweets and everything like that. While the natural fructose in fruit is healthy, the fructose in high fructose corn syrup isn't, and studies have linked it to diseases and inflammation and being overweight and an increase in blood sugar levels. And if you're interested in learning the difference between natural sugar and refined sugar, then you can check out the video I made about that right here. You should also watch out of certain food dyes such as blue, yellow, or red, which are found in like candies, jellies, soda, things like that. And they do raise some health concerns. Some of them cause cancer in animals some are contaminated with the dangerous compounds, some cause hypersensitivity reactions, others are linked with ADHD. Many of them have been banned, which is a good thing, but some of them still remain, so make sure to be careful with that. Aspartame is a calorie-free sweetener that is found in calorie-free foods like desserts and soda that are sugar-free. It can lead to weight gain, headaches, diabetes, bad gut health, and I made a video on the difference between diet soda and regular soda and which one you should be having, and you can check that one out 
here if you're interested. So here are a few of the safe, or safer at least, additives and preservatives. The vitamins are added to the food in order to keep it fresh and to prevent it from spoiling. So for instance, we have vitamin C, a vitamin E, vitamin B2, and vitamin B12. Lecithin is an emulsifier that is found naturally in eggs or in soybeans. And the goal with emulsifiers is to stabilize mixtures of water and oils, um, like mayonnaise, so that your food doesn't separate in its container. Some studies show that emulsifiers may May cause gut inflammation but that is for the other types of emulsifiers and apparently lecithin is one of the good ones and may even have some beneficial properties. Guar gum and xanthan gum are used as thickeners and stabilizers and you can find them in soups, salad dressings, sauces, and they've actually been associated with certain benefits. However, consumed in excess, they may have some adverse effects, but in food, their quantity is regulated and limited, of course. Citric acid, acetic acid, sorbic acid, they all may seem scary because they have the word acid in it, but actually they're harmless acidity regulators that prevent your food from spoiling. I mean, harmless when you don't go overboard, of course, as with everything. You can naturally find citric acid in fruit, acetic acid in vinegar, and sorbic acid in unripe berries. So these were just a few of the most common additives and preservatives that you're likely to come in contact with. But if you're interested, I have a full list of the approved additives and their E numbers. Um, in my blog post. So should you still be eating foods that have additives and preservatives? As with most things, it's all about balance. It's good to know about some harmful additives and preservatives and to be mindful of the foods you buy, to always check the labels to make sure that they don't contain the bad preservatives and additives that I mentioned before. But here are a few important things I still want you to keep in mind. First of all, you won't always be able to check the label. If you're going out to eat, if you're going to a friend's house, you don't want to be stressing over which additives are in your food. Just relax, enjoy the moment, don't feel guilty. Just because you eat one meal with additives, it's not going to kill you, it's going to be totally fine. So again, it's really all about a balance. You want to be mindful of them, but you don't want to overdo it and be freaked out every time you eat something. Secondly, not all complicated scientific words are bad. There's this general fear that anything that is long and that you can't understand is bad for you, but that's not true at all. And finally, except if you're eating solely fresh fruit and veggies from your own personal garden, then you are bound to consume some additives and preservatives at some point and that's totally fine. Of course, in a perfect world, eating food devoid of any additives would be ideal, but that's just not the world we live in. And actually, in our society, additives and preservatives serve a purpose. They can prevent the food from spoiling, they can enhance the taste, and they can even add some missing nutrients. So it's good to be aware of this, but as long as you're regularly making home-cooked meals, if you're preferring whole foods over processed foods, and if you check the labels when you can, then you're doing great and you have nothing to worry about. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.